Did you just drop? Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Woolly Thistle Shopcast. I hope you're doing well. It's good to be here with you again. And uh, already I've had quite a morning, which I want to tell you about already. So somehow this morning uh, when I got up and was having my first cup of caffeine, um, I could hear the kitty cat meowing and I was looking all over for her because I thought maybe she'd been shut in a cupboard. Uh, and I could hear her meowing and I'd say Katie and she'd meow and then I figured out that she'd actually been out all night and she was outside so I opened the door to let her in and she comes in and she rubs up against me and then looks up at me and she has a bird in her mouth oh my god a bird that's still alive and she was managing to meow at me with a bird a live bird in her mouth oh my god so she's in the house at this point and I'm like ah. Oh. So I leave the door wide open and I chase her around the house and manage to get her and the bird back outside. So that was good. Um, but then just as I got into the shop here to record this, I managed to spill uh, my drink right down my front. So from below where you can see, <laughs> I'm wet and uh, covered, covered in my drink. Uh, so that was good. And then unfortunately I tapped my phone as I was getting up to switch the AC off to start recording and my phone fell on the ground like that and of course the whole thing has shattered but it's still recording so that's I'm gonna just go with this um, I do I did have glass in my hand and I think I got it out when I picked it up I must have got a little shard so you know uh, today has to get better because so far it's been crazy but you know things come in threes I've had three things so Here's hoping that we get through this recording safe and sound. So welcome to the Woolly Thistle Shopcast. This is going out to you round about the July 4th weekend. And I hope that you are managing to work around the COVID to have some fun uh, on your own <laughs> or with neighbors over a fence. And you are still observing social distancing and wearing a mask. We are going to have, I'm sure of it, another round with this because, you know, we've, we're all seeing the numbers and um, the EU is getting ready to tell me I can't go home. Uh, so we have to get a grip on this so that we can get back to life. But um, here's hoping that we all figure out what we need to do. But, and what we need to do is be socially distant and wear our masks when we're out. Um, but I want to be ready uh, and I want to keep things moving for you guys because I think, you know, over 300 people uh, signed up for our Knitting Buddy program during the first round and beyond. And uh, we are still accepting people into that program. And when we get a group of four or five, we, um, we uh, make them a group and then they can start off uh, going off on their own journey together and so we want to continue that so if you're at all you know and I think the second round is going to be harder on us because we have fatigue from from dealing with it uh, for the last three months three and a half months um, and we're going into it again so please sign up if you're at all concerned about feeling lonely or isolated or you just want some new friends um, we can help with that we also have our um, what to watch uh, and listen to thread in the Ravelry group and we now have a books and reading group in the Ravel Ravelry thread too. So do please check those out in the Woolly Thistle group. If there's other things that you think we can do to help everyone and you get through uh, the next round of COVID, just drop us an email or leave a comment in the Ravelry group somewhere and we will pick that up. Our email is info at the Woolly Thistle. We would love to help you if we can. Um, I mean, for us, at least one way uh, that we are prepared now for the second round is we've done it before and we will be able to quickly adapt to working from home next time. We were really just figuring that out when they started lifting the the ban on working uh, in your place of business. So um, we will be much more organized next time and quicker to pivot, which will be really good. Um, but you know, we are an adaptable bunch and I'm sure there'll be other nuances this next time round too. But I am of the feeling that we are going to have to face that. And so 
we're getting ready. So yeah, uh, we want you to be ready too. Have your friends lined up, your knitting buddies. Um, and yeah, I kept talking about doing more lives. Maybe I will actually get more lives out. Uh, but tell me if you have any ideas because I'd love to hear from you about that. So yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter, which is very active. We send out um, emails about new products and uh, our monthly newsletter will often have access to items that you might not get otherwise or a discount. So do sign up for that. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're on both as the Woolly Thistle, two L's and Woolly. And yeah, just thank you so much for being a customer or a fan of the Woolly Thistle. We do appreciate you. Also, big thank you to everyone who purchased the vanilla sweater pattern through the first two weeks of June. With your purchases, we were able to donate 100% of the purchase price. Uh, of, and for a total of $5,460 to Color of Change to support that organization who supports people of color um, and are fighting for justice. And uh, you know, that was a really sizable donation. So thank you so much for your support of that. And we are currently as a team at the Woolly Thistle working out who we want to start um, the Woolly Thistle uh, donating to on a monthly basis in an effort to keep up the good work that we started. I will donate um, a, a portion to uh, a charity that we decide on as a team. We have a winner from last time. Uh, we had a $25 gift certificate to the Woolly Thistle giveaway and we had lots and lots of entries which all you have to do is uh, follow us. Uh, give us a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment. Madam Pearl left this comment. I'm a yarn sniffer too. I have Kate's yoke book and I need to knit that sweater. Love yours and love the darning. So yeah, that's a reference to, and congratulations, Madam Pearl. Please send us an invite. I mean, <laughs> send us an invite to your house. Now, send us an email to info at thewoollythistle.com. Put winner in the subject line and we will get your gift certificate out to you. So what she's talking about there is last time I wore my um, cockatoo bray uh, cardigan which I haven't worn in a long time because I'd gone through the elbows, uh, they were all holy, but I had done some visible mending and if you want to see it, just watch the last episode, it's on there. All right, so what do we have to talk about? Uh, what I'm knitting on, I've got my big basket here with me as always, and there's a new project in there, but uh, I'll show you my vanilla number four and I haven't made a whole lot of progress on this since we last chatted because I'm trying to slow down. But uh, look, I've got that much left of the sleeve. I've knitted this sleeve and I've done the split hem on the bottom. I need to pick up the next stitches and do that. But really, I'm almost done. And I've slowed down on it because I'm stretching it out across the first and the second. Um, cowl and the second cowl for the vanilla sweater is underway and it's going great guns and the FO thread for the first cowl is full of beautiful beautiful uh, vanilla sweaters knitted in Rama Fennel Garn which is just excellent and actually talking about that I, I have an idea that I would like your participation in which is would you be willing to do what I'm doing right now, but just record yourself for 20, 20 seconds, not 20 minutes, 20 seconds, uh, wearing, showing us your finished vanilla sweater on. You can style it however you would wear it. Um, do your makeup a little bit, you know, whatever you want to do or not, that's fine. But um, send us a wee video of you, you know, showing us, your sweater and I'll put them all together and I'll show it um, sometime in the future uh, depending on um, people's interest in doing that we might hold over until the second cal is finished so that we get even more or we might do one for each I don't know yet it depends on you guys so if you're interested in doing that you can send you can just record on your cam on your phone and then forward it to info at the woolly thistle and in the subject line put vs 
montage and that way we know exactly uh, why you're sending us videos of yourself because I asked you to and that would be so fun I would love that I would love that okay so uh, I'm knitting on this still and I'm just enjoying it and taking my time of course it's in Rama Fennel Garn this is color 466 it's a lovely pink and I am definitely in a pink phase right now you can see my nails are pink I'm wearing um, I like big shawls which is a riff off of a very famous song from probably the 90s now I don't know I like big shawls so um, but I love I love pink right now so yes all the pinks and what else am I knitting on right now well, I cast on something brand new in pink and it might look a little similar to a vanilla sweater, but it is not a vanilla sweater. And also it is not knit in Rama. It is knit in, let's see, where's the camera? Jameson and Smith two ply jumper weight. This is FC 51. And it's a lovely pale pink on gray so it is um, it almost has a lavender quality to it but it's more pink than purple it's gorgeous and I'm knitting this for my daughter Heather and you can see it as a raglan and you can see that the increases are done with yarn overs and I decided on this that I would start knitting the sleeve before the body. I have plans for the body. And I have plans for the sleeves too, as it happens. Um, let's see, which is the front and which is the back? I think this is the front. Yeah. So this is going to take shape. Um, I've been fudging numbers and getting the neck the right shape and width that I wanted. And this will keep uh, declaring itself over the next few weeks. So um, I'm knitting this on a US 6 again, which is what the Rama, uh, which is what the vanilla sweater is knitted on. But with the Jameson and Smith, I got a gauge of 5.25 per inch, which is like 21 stitches in four inches. And the vanilla sweater is 20 stitches. So it's not that different. But different yarn, different gauge. And I love these yarn overs. And I had to do a little bit of, um, let's see, where are they? Yeah, there's a little bit of shaping once you get down here because I wanted to slow down the sleeve increases but keep the body increases going. And so to keep the yarn overs, I had to work in some decreases here. So it's been interesting so far. I am writing it as I go. So you might see this in your future at some point too. It's a lovely knit. Um, I'm really, really enjoying knitting the woolly wool on a slightly looser gauge than you'd expect. Um, it, they, do, uh, they do look good at these gauges. Uh, one of our cowl participants in the first cowl for the vanilla sweater, she knitted hers in Jameson and Smith too. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Um, so that was very confirming because I was thinking about using this for, for a new something or other. And then I saw hers and I was like, yeah, yeah, that'll work. All right, so there's photos of hers in the first cowl thread. Right, so I think that's all I have going on the needles that is um, active right now. But I'm totally dreaming about knitting uh, P4 Chen, which is Patricia Fortune, um, her latest shawl. She's been releasing beautiful shawl patterns. Uh, knitted in Rama Fennel Garn or Rama P2, Fennel P2, it's the same difference. There you go final p2 and her latest one is a hat but it's more um it doesn't have the point so it's more like this way and it's all garter stitch and it has little cat paw uh, lace work which i love i love cat paw lace work and i'm going to cast this on today and all I can imagine is this big wide shawl wrapped around me in the winter time and uh, i'm gonna knit it in pink
because I can just, I think that it's really romantic to be wearing a long dark coat with my beautiful woolly, a very wide uh, wrap around my neck with garter stitch and cat paw lace and oh, woolly wool. So thank you, Patricia, for that. You've got my mind going like crazy here and you will see progress on that next time. And I'm doing it in this lovely pink, which is 4133 on gray. It's one of the, the newer colors. We should have most, if not all, of the new colors in stock right now. So um, I know that we were running low while we were waiting for things to come over from Norway, but they're here and they're in the shop. So feel free to shop. Now, okay, so that's that. And while I'm on my pink, my pink love face, love face, 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 I want to show you uh, Tuku Wool because we just got lots of that back in stock too. And both of these are my favorite colors in Tuku Wool. This one here is H28, so it's a uh, pink on gray. And the, um, oh, what was the name of the, I can't remember the name of the dress, but it was in line uh, one or two and it was a full length dress and it was knitted in this. Very, very vanilla. Uh, straightforward dress it was really lovely um, and then this one is uh, the same color dyed on white so we have lots of uh, tuku in stock is selling like hotcakes which is great but just wanted to let you know that you know we have uh, lots lots of fingering and lots of um, the sock weight which is more of a sports weight and I can't wait to knit socks with uh, with their sock yarn. I haven't even done that yet. So much to knit and not enough time, right? Okay, so it looks like I'm going straight into showing you what's in the shop right now. And we have, can, we're continuing on with free shipping of orders $99 and up. Um, and big news is we're going to have a sale over the 4th of July weekend. So this video should be going live on Friday the 3rd. So Maybe the sale is on right now. Pause me and go see, all right? I don't do this very often and when I do, you need to jump on it if you're at all interested. And we have free shipping of $99. I might fiddle with the shipping for the sale. I don't know yet, we'll see. You'll find that out when you go to the shop. I can't commit to anything right now. Okay, so I told you about the Knitting Buddy program too. And I told you all about that. And I told you about that. Jameson and Smith, just to mention, some of their neutral colors like 202 and 81 were very low on, if not out of stock, because because of COVID, they are out of, uh, they're not making those particular colors for whatever reason, so we can't restock them. If you need 202, there is a pretty good substitute in FC43. It's an oatmeal-y color, it is a dyed color, but it's very, very similar to 202. So we have replaced 202, for FC43 in, for example, the Piri Fleur yarn set, which I don't know if that's even in stock or not, but if it is, it's coming with FC43 for now. Um, so check that out. We can get these on cones and we will have cones coming in, meaning 202 and 81. Um, we'll get all the neutral colors in very soon. Okay, so that's that. Um, Katie's Kip yarn sets came and went but we have more coming in I expect the boxes will have arrived by the time you're seeing this and hopefully they will have gone out I think they're already discounted so they will probably not be part of the sale so don't hang on if that's what you want just go ahead and get that before they're gone um, and that is in the Jameson and Smith colors and what else do we have oh my gosh do we love nail polish and do we think nail polish on knitters is a great idea Yes, I do. So this is I Love Big Shawls, and it comes in um, this set of three, uh, which is the pink set, and we still have these in the shop while I'm recording. Oh, come on now. Come on. There we go. Okay, they're okay. Oh my God. All right, so this is Woolpig. <laughs> 
and wool pig is a lovely light pink and then this is I love big shawls or I like big shawls and that's what I'm wearing here there you go and it varies from this one like so so it is quite a bit lighter and then we have the namesake for the shop this will do nicely hooray uh, our winner um, this is the winning entry for the name uh, and I just love that it was a play on the word thistle so this will do nicely wool pig and and uh, I like big shawls so these are the pinks we still have some uh, these are brand new to the shop they're sold in sets of three and that's really good the other set that we got is brand new and we're out of we're sold out of the um, the Willy Thistle signature colors but I've ordered more so they'll be here when I get them I'll put them in the shop so here's the reds and they're beautiful I was wearing this one all week let's see try oh goodness me all right so we have three colors I'm gonna drop them all right there we go so here starting with the darkest it's lovely is a uh, deep stash then we have polymonogamy which is a word I made up and it refers to knitters who swear they knit one thing at a time they're monogamous but then they cast on all the things thus making them polymonogamous um, it makes me feel better when I when I when I use that term and then here is yarn fumes and this is the one I was wearing all week and I can't tell because of my whatever these are called progressives I can't tell if this is in focus or not I need to get new glasses just so I can um, podcast properly because half the time I'm doing it blind um, so but I don't want to go to the optician because they sit really close I mean I'm sure it's fine and that everybody's wearing a mask but oh, I suppose I need to get on with that you know realizing that for the last three and a half months my husband has been working in an OR um, or working helping in the ED and things like that and um, working on airways uh, he's been at risk so he's been living separately from us uh, over the garage with all his own amenities he's doing his own laundry <laughs> his own cooking I mean we I will cook and include him and then we send his dinner out and he picks it up and we've been living like that for almost three and a half months but it's over now um, because you know timing's everything right before COVID hit he handed his notice and he handed in four months notice at his hospital because he wanted to move on handed in his notice and then COVID struck. So at least there's an out for him now. He's done his time and, and he can leave. And right now he's in, uh, while I'm recording this, he's in quarantine to work off the last 14 days of working in the hospital. So it's been quite a strenuous um, arrangement for us. Why am I even talking about this? What's that gonna do with nail polish? Oh, my eyes? I don't know. I don't know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there. It's a shaggy dog and it just went off on its own. I don't know. All right. So what else do we have? New in the shop. We got uh, lots of Garthenor back in because you guys really loved that, which is great. And I love working with Garthenor. They're super nice to work with, as is everybody I work with. Um, and they have really great ball bands. This here is so that when you have your journal, you can, you know, put this in your journal with a little loop of the yarn that it, that was in here. And so it's good for your records. So Garthenor number one, we have lots of, uh, of variety. We have at least three white uh, lace weights from different breeds. So their yarn is breed specific. And this is from um, Dorset Horn and it's called Cove. And their lace weight is a single ply. And their fingering weight, or four ply, is two of these together. So it's sort of a heavy fingering weight, to be honest. Oh, this is so good. This is their Jacob lace weight. 
it's got a nice crunch to it but it's soft very very nice and I'm just pulling out a couple here um, and then for the greys there's lots of greys this is uh, Shetland here and this one's called smoke oh sorry that's their yarn tie front and center so and of course Shetland's just lovely Thank you for all the yarn sniffing support out there. We could start our own club because I'm not alone. Okay, so we have um, their lace weight, which is number one. And then number two is their fingering, sort of heavy fingering slash sport weight. Um, and of course, you know, we have lots of Shetland from them. And this is a lovely gray. This is Go Shock, Go Shock, Go Shock, Go Shock. I want to say Goshank, and I don't even know what that is. I don't think it's a word. Goshank. Okay. Um, and we have quite a large selection of their number two, which is this weight. I love their marls. This here is called Wagtail. The Shetland wool spun in a marl. This is another marl called Chimney. And again, it is Shetland wool just lovely and look you might think they're the same but look how different this one is more light this one's more dark yeah. so we have a few different marls uh, we have all natural colors from them and we have sizes one two three four and five And before I show you this, I haven't told you what I'm wearing. And I think that's probably subconsciously because I don't want to show you the big stain of caffeinated drink down my front, uh, which, which was one of the things that happened. So <laughs> if I stand like this, you will see that I am wearing the Calyx sweater, which is designed by the wonderful and very clever Elizabeth Doherty. Um, I knitted this in uh, Lioness, uh, Blacker Lioness DK White, and it's got great drape because it's a half linen, half wool blend. It's, you know, it's hot, but I'm wearing this today. I was able to wear it in the car and everything. I mean, I wouldn't wear it all day, but I was comfortable wearing it. And so, oh my God. If you haven't knit any Elizabeth Doherty patterns, I suggest you go check her out because she's very clever and she does beautiful detailing. That's a Latvian braid in one color. Um, this here is a dropped shoulder with this lovely detail uninterrupted, very clever. Um, and just the neckline on this is super nice, I think. It's quite flattering. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm wearing and we are getting more blacker in as soon as possible and I will be ordering all the lioness that I can get. Um, so there's that. Now lastly uh, from the shop I want to show you uh, what we have left which is which is a good amount. Um, there's enough for everybody I think who wants it. We got, we finally got our um, delivery from Katie Greenbean and not for the one to try and Katie and I have been working this box back and forth between her in the UK and me here. It made it to the USA and then customs decided that they were going to send it back to Katie and things kept changing and reporting and all of this. It was a whole hoo-ha to get it here. Uh, it took months. I really hope we would have had it here in time for when Katie was supposed to be here originally, which was way back in, was it the beginning of April or end of March? Yeah, so this is the same order that should have been here for them and it just took forever and a day. So anyway, so exciting to have Katie's lovely works here. This is her British breed, um, one of her cushion covers or throw pillow covers and it's a zipped thing which is really nice. Uh, the design is on the front, not on the back. And um, if you want all the sheep, you need to order this one, which is A through Z, and then the other one is, um, no, A through M and then N through Z kind of thing. 
So half of the British breeds are on this cushion and half are on the other, and it's just lovely. So we still have a few of these left if you're interested. Um, things have been selling very quickly. Um, also back from her is her British breeds tape, not tape, ribbon. We sell this uh, in stretches of two yards. If you order four yards, we give you four yards without cutting. You know, so, but you get at least two yards. That's the measurement. And here is her lovely yarn and crafters notebook. Oh, the potential. It's uh, all uh, like math paper <laughs> inside. What I really love, and this is so Katie, is the details. The corners are rounded because this is going to be in and out of your knitting, your bag, and this will help protect from those ratty dog ears that we would get otherwise. And there's some handy uh, reference material in the jackets. There you go. Uh, yeah, so we have plenty of those and they're very reasonably priced. Good little stocking stuffers if you want to get ahead with that kind of thing. Very, very popular as always, and I ordered a ton of these are her tea towels, which are just beautiful. Again, the British Breeds, the uh, Woodland Animal Friends, so cute. They're all gone. We, we sold out of them very quickly. I didn't order enough, apparently, but we do have some of these left, and these are gorgeous, and they feel really good, too. They're 100% cotton, but they've got a really nice, sturdy hand to them. And if you don't want to use your lovely tea towel, you can hang it up. Um, very excited about these. We have a variety of her big stamps from made at the English Stamp Company. And it has Katie Greenbean stamped on the side. And then of course, here is her artwork in stamp form. Here's Jack, all of them our animals and sweaters. We did sell out of the sheep, but we've still got a lovely bear, cats, Jack. I'm not sure if there's any others, any other animals. And then we've got this lovely uh, corner piece, which is floral and has a ball of yarn in the middle. And that's just a nice way to embellish the corner of an envelope or a card, something like that. Really pretty really pretty so i think that's it for what we have left of katie's stuff so do check them out they're lovely um i'm not sure when we'll get more from katie it's such a hoo-ha to get her stuff over here um but we definitely uh, enjoy having her stuff and and we will try again i'm i'm sure i just cannot guarantee when it would get here i couldn't believe it when when it made it to the u.s made it through customs, I answered all their questions, and then the next thing I see the tracking is it's flying back over to her. <laughs> right, anyway, so yeah, that's part of the, the joys and frustrations of uh, what we do here is dealing with customs and all of that. Now, actually, that is a serious point that it just reminded me. Because of COVID, there are less flights uh, coming over to the States which means there's less availability of room on those flights for my boxes of yarn. So I am seeing a lot of my shipping costs go through the roof, really crazy. Uh, right now, for the most part, I am able to, um, I am buffering that for you, but we might see some things going up a little bit based on that, but for now, and I have been trying to buffer that because, uh, because that's part of my service, right? That said, uh, Marie Wallen's yarn, her British breeds, will be going up uh, slightly starting August 1st. Uh, we do have another order scheduled to come in, um, and actually we might ha have another order come in. I'll try and get as many orders as I can of her yarn in before August 1st, uh, at which point her per ball price will go up by, I think, 25 cents. Um, I need to finish my math. And confirm that but it will be right around there if I can do better I will um, and that's because her manufacturing costs have gone up as well as the shipping so those two things combined really made it so that I had to bump up the price in tandem with her um, increase in price to me and 
and you know it's just the way it is so but I don't have to do that until August 1st so if you're at all interested in Marie Wallen's British Breeds uh, do do get them now at the existing price uh, because you know when you buy that you might be buying quite a few balls and so that could add up and be a nice uh, savings for you okay so that's that so I think that's all I've got for you this time. I've shown you what is new and exciting in the shop. I've told you about the sale that's coming up right now. Go check it out. I don't do sales very often. Lastly, I just want to say thank you so much if you watched my conversation with Dr. Tracy Baxley in a bonus episode that went out just a week or two ago. Thank you so much for watching that. I really appreciate um, anybody who did watch it and um, if you learned anything, that's all, all the better. Uh, Dr. Baxley is lovely and um, and really knows her stuff. If you're interested in her course, please do go check out Social Justice Parenting on Instagram or on her website. You can get to the coursework uh, through Instagram as well. So either way you'll get to her and what she's offering. And I think that it's a really um, insightful and helpful uh, way to go if you're trying to learn how to talk to your kids about racism and you know this, this terrible thing that we have uh, going on here so thank you if you watched also if you wrote me a really long email about why I shouldn't be talking about this on my knitting forum thank you for your time I am NOT going to stick to the knitting I think all that's left to say is if you go out wear your mask and take your knitting bye for now